Good day, friends. I'm holding in my hand the very Bible that I realized yesterday I said we'd had for 30 years. Well, we've been married for 43. So this is a 43-year-old Bible plus. And again, it has a lot of Mary's underlining and subtitles and texts. Uh, one of my friends this morning, a very dear friend, said that uh, or wrote that she was fearful. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being fearful. These are times that inspire fear. I think it's what we do with the fear that's important. If uh, we allow the fear to remind us of uh, a certain danger, that's a very good thing, and we can respond accordingly and be prepared. If we allow fear to propel us into being others-focused, that's particularly helpful. And we can, uh, by focusing on things that we need to be about, we can uh, channel that fear in productive ways. Today, I want to remind myself, really, that uh, the Lord is always with us. One of, I love Israel's scriptures. One of the Psalms, Psalm 139, simply says, O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest when I sit down and when I rise up. And skipping ahead, you can read the rest of this on your own a little bit later. Verse 7 says, Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend to heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in Sheol, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there thy hand shall lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. From verse 7 and following, you can kind of see some extremes there, which remind us that the Lord, our God, will never leave us nor forsake us. And so in these days, cling to the promise that the Lord has great and mighty things for you to do for those all around, encouraging the discouraged, as I've said before, and even maybe giving a smile, because smiles uh, communicate so much. And in this time when we can't touch others, if we smile, we're communicating the care that comes through us for all of those around us. I look forward to being with you next time.